Hello guys, welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. I know many of you have tried the latest iOS 17 public beta. It's great, but it's still in beta, and you might want to go back to iOS 16. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove iOS 17 public beta and back to iOS 16. Create a backup. Before we start, it's important to create a backup of your data. This way, you can restore it if anything goes wrong. To do this, connect your iPhone to your computer and open iTunes. Then, click on the Backup Now button. Now let's start to downgrade. The first method is to use an iOS downgrade tool called Reiboot. This tool can help you to downgrade your iPhone to a previous version of iOS. To use Reiboot, check the download link below and install it. Then, connect your iPhone to your computer and launch Reiboot. Click on the Downgrade option. Choose Downgrade. Reiboot will then download the latest version of iOS 16 for your iPhone. Great! Now you can click the Initiating Downgrade option. Reiboot will begin to downgrade your iPhone back to iOS 16. Wait for a few moments, because they were two different generation systems, be patient. After the downgrade is complete, you will need to set up your iPhone again. If you have a backup on iCloud, you can restore it here. If you don't, just keep set up till you get to the home page. Well done, now your iPhone has gone back to the iOS 16. It's very simple and efficient. If you want to recover data from iTunes, please skip directly to method 3. The second method is to use iTunes or Finder to downgrade your iPhone. This method is a bit more complicated than using Reiboot, but it can be done if you follow the instructions carefully. You will need to download the iOS 16 firmware file for your iPhone model. You can find the firmware files on the ipswa.me website. Find your iPhone model. Download the iOS 16 file. Once you have downloaded the firmware file, connect your iPhone to your computer and open iTunes or Finder. Then, hold down the Shift key on Windows or the Option key on Mac and click on the Restore iPhone button. Once done, the next important thing is to turn off Find My iPhone in Settings. Open the firmware you just downloaded. It will pop a window that says iTunes will erase and restore your phone to iOS 16. Choose the Restore button. This will take a very long time. Once the downgrade is OK, you will need to set up your iPhone again. Method 3. Restore the backed up data with iTunes. To restore the backed up data, we'll need to make some modifications. Since the backup is from iOS 17, which may not be compatible with your iOS 16.5 system. First, locate the default path for Apple backups. Press WINR key. Type App Data and hit OK. Click Apple Computer, Mobile Sync. If you don't see the backup folder here, please type in User Profile instead. Then go to Apple, Mobile Sync. Navigate to the backup folder and choose We Need. Scroll down until you find the Info Plus file. Open it with Notepad. Next, use Ctrl F to search for the product version. Once you locate the iOS version, change it to iOS 16.5 and save it. Next, open iTunes and click on Restore Backup. Select the one we just modified, click Restore. And be patient as the process may take some time. When the restore is complete, you will see the hello screen again. OK, now your iPhone is back to iOS 16. All my previous data is back. That's it. Looking forward to the arrival of a more powerful official version of iOS 17. If you have any downgrade problems, please leave them in the comments below. We'll do our best to help you out. Thanks for you subscribing. See you next time.